Hallelujah. Thank you, choir, for that wonderful number. Thank you. Thank you. You've done well. Thank you. Musicians, uh, bass guitar player had to beat drums today. Our, ba our drummer is sick. But it's good to be here. Amen. Tell somebody it's good to be here. This is a holiday we celebrate as Memorial Day. Amen. 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 But somebody, you know, we, we are here and, and nobody is memorializing over us. Amen. We are alive. Huh? Are we alive? All right, I want you to prove that we're alive. If you know Jesus, we are alive. He said, I come that you might have life. Amen. And that more abundantly. Amen. Certainly, we give honor to the Spirit of Christ, to our God. And certainly, we give honor to this great pastor. Come on, put your hands together. Come on, everybody stand up and put your hands together for this man of God. Amen. When you get a good pastor, you ought to praise him up. Amen. Brother Godfrey is, not only is he a good man but he's a man that loves God and how many know that there are pastors that only love themselves amen somebody but when you can get a God loving pastor you've got something going and he's a very fine very fine humble man I don't know what he do if you make him mad But I've been around him a lot and he's just, he's an humble man. It's, it's good to be here today. I, we wish we could have gotten here earlier because they told us three o'clock. I thought that's what we had down. But uh, we are here. Amen. Amen. All time belong to God, doesn't it? Amen. Yes, Amen. We are, and we are not going to stay up here and just lag around kill up a whole lot of time we want to give honor to this very fine minister here one that's officiating and certainly we give honor to all of the officers of this church and our church and all of the members that are here today we give honor to you on this day. It's good to be here. We're glad that you asked us to come Amen. to your house. Amen. Amen. And we, we feel at home. We really do. We feel at home. So don't treat us like strangers. Amen. If we are in the Lord, we are brothers and sisters. Yeah. Am I right about it? Amen. We don't want nobody leaving here talking about nobody. Amen. 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 Gossiping about somebody. We don't want to do that. We're just going, home, going on, on, on home and be glad that we were here. Amen. Uh, when I took this, let me say this, appointment, I, I didn't realize that it was a holiday, Memorial Day, and of course, when I found out it was Memorial Day, it was too late to cancel it. And a lot of our members just come to me this morning and said, Pastor, we won't be able to go today, but we're going to be praying for you. I said, oh my God. And a lot of our members are just not here. But we're here. And we are just here to worship God 
Amen together. Amen. Amen. Brother, hey, my good friend, Roger McLean. I see him every now and then. I need to see you. <laughs> it's good to see Sister Sharp, <laughs> Trustee Sharp. And those that I don't call your names, it's good to see you, Brother Godfrey. It's good to see you, and it's good to see. Amen. 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 And good to see you. All right. Heads about. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your presence. Even now, God, we need you. Don't leave us now. Have your way now in this place. Speak to your people. God, give us a word. That it may edify, strengthen somebody in this house. We're going to thank you for it. And we're going to praise you. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Come on, give the Lord a hand of praise. Those of you that have your Bibles, if you will, turn with me to the Gospel of St. Mark. And the fourth chapter of Mark's Gospel. Very familiar passage of scripture. We're going to deal with it a little while. We're going to just talk. I'm trying to figure out I'm going to give you a sermon today or just a message. <laughs> Amen. But I want to talk to the people of God. Amen. amen. If you have it, say amen. amen. Let's begin at verse 37. Gospel of St. Mark in the fourth chapter. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat. I'm reading for, from the King James Version, New King James Version. So that it was already filling. But he was in the stern asleep on a pillow. And they awoke him and said to him, Teacher, Master, do you not care that we are perishing? Then he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. Let the church say amen. amen. What we want to talk to you a little bit about today is when it seems like Jesus don't care. Amen. And I, I really believe almost all of us in here sometime or another felt and wondered where in the world is he at. <laughs> Amen. God, you know what I'm, he's supposed to know everything. You know your ups, your downs, your ins and your outs. When you're going through, when you're coming out, when you're crying, when you're laughing. He knows everything, but there comes a time you wonder, God, where are you? Yes. Can I talk to somebody? Yes, sir. I know you promised it. The Bible says it. I quoted it. But where are you? Yes, sir. When I really need you. Amen. And when I look at this passage of scripture, it deals with your faith. How many know that the only way you can please God is through your faith? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. It's not your works. I know the Bible says man must work out his own soul salvation 
by fear and trembling before him. But it doesn't mean that you got to physically work to please God. Amen. Amen. You cannot work out your soul salvation. He's simply saying, let your faith work. Amen. It's your faith that works for you. Somebody don't believe that. Because it's mighty quiet. I know we said sometimes I'm out here working for the Lord. No, what can you do for God? And I found out whatever he ha whatever happens to me, God does everything for me. Amen. And he can do anything. But fail. Amen. Let's talk about for a few minutes your faith. It has been said that a man is what he eat. Someone else said that a man is what he reads. Another says a man is what he thinks. Proverbs says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he or she. What he thinks in his heart. You are not only what you consume physically, or what you uh, conceptualize internally or mentally. But you are also what you believe. Amen. Amen. Can I talk plain? Yes, sir. And that has to be in your heart. Yes, can I get a witness? Yes, sir. If you believe you can, you can. Yes, sir. If you believe you can't, you cannot. Before we get out of bed. Lift a fog. Speak a word. We must believe. Amen. Yes. If you didn't believe it, you wouldn't open your mouth. Come on, son. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whether you know it or not, faith is powerful. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When you leave home in the morning, you don't have no doubt that you ain't going to get to work. The only way your doubt would be if your car is running bad or you ain't got much gas. Come on, somebody. But even when you are late and you're speeding, your heart and mind is saying, I'm going to get that. Can I get a witness? How many of us have needed something from God and seemed like God wasn't nowhere around? Amen. Can I talk to flame folk today? You got bills to pay and somehow you don't have enough money to pay your bill. Anybody been there? And anytime you got a bill that you can't pay and you don't have enough money to pay it, that just might be a seed. Let your faith work. Because the Bible said, Jesus said, if you give unto me, I'll give unto you good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. Did it say so? How many know where our faith has to be? In the word of God. Can I get one written? Before we can memorize a speech, learn a lesson drive a car we must believe amen. Amen. do anybody believe that yes, sir. why don't you say amen? amen before we can stop smoking drinking cursing lying or any other habit we must believe, believe. Amen. Amen. amen if we don't have the strength in ourselves then we must have enough faith 
in God and the power of Christ to help do what we believe we cannot do for ourselves. Can I get a witness? No one can make you a failure. You must do that yourself. No matter how many times you tried and failed. You're never a failure until you believe yourself to be a failure. I want to talk to somebody today. Anybody in here believe you're a failure? If you don't give up, hold your head up. Keep on trying. Discouraged, frustrated, disappointed, but when you try, Listen at me. And don't succeed. Try again. Let your faith work for you. I can do it. The Bible says I can do all things through Christ. That what strengthens me. I've got two stories I want to tell you. And I'm going to sit down. Amen. Amen. I, I was reading a story where a man was in a community selling ice. And he, he wasn't a black man. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And he'd done it quite a, quite a, for quite a while. And this young Black man noticed him, watched him, observed him. Selling ice. He said, if he can do it, I can do it. So what he did, he went on and got into that business. In the same community selling ice. Not only was he doing a better job, but even it was cheaper. And you know everybody likes anything cheaper. Oh man, he was going well. And there was an old lady in the town. Why do we pick on old ladies? I don't know. But there was an old lady in the same town. And she was buying ice from the other man. He noticed she wasn't buying no ice from him. So one day he decided to ask her, why you won't buy my ice? And she said, son, I have nothing against you. You're a fine young man. I've tried your ice. And to me, the other man's ice is colder <laughs> than your ice. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Ice is ice. But now this is what she believed. So Mary, it was colder because she believed that it was colder. Can I get one witness? Well, somebody don't hear what I'm saying. When you look at other folk and feel like they are better, that's bad news. Everybody else is better than me. How many of we have a pity party? Everything goes well with everybody but me. We look at some folk and look like their car is better. The child is smarter. The church is more sanctified. You will never be free as long as you think that way. But it's time that we believe in ourselves. Until you believe in yourself, 
You ain't going nowhere. I heard a writer say, I don't possess houses or land. Fine clothes or jewelry. But then he wound up and said, Christ is all. This world, to me, let me tell you the second story. There was a young man on a ship. And a lot of people was on the ship. But there was a young boy there. And somehow the storm began to rage on the waters. And the passenger told everybody to put on their life jackets said we've got a terrible storm and everybody began to get scared and they put on their life jackets and this man walked down in the dining room of the ship and saw this little boy playing on the table with his little car wasn't worried about nothing the man said hey boy who why you are not putting on your jacket it's a storm out there it's a bad storm. We don't know where we're going to make it or no. Put your life jacket on. But the young boy said, I'm not afraid. Why are you not afraid? He said, because my daddy is the captain. And we've been in many storms. But he has landed everyone that's on the ship. And I want to tell somebody it's not about you. But we've got a captain. Anybody know we got a captain? Somebody might not know that. And I'm going to tell y'all something. We had a storm. We had, a ha we had what you call it? A tornado. In this community. The first time I can remember having a tornado. And I'm going to tell you something. I got scared. I ain't going to lie to you. Because when I heard that hail hitting on my house. And then that wind came. My house was shaking. I said, honey, come on, let's go. Where are you going? I'm going to get in the tub. And I ran and got in the tub and I noticed she never got in the tub. She was sitting on the side. I said, come on and get in. She said, I can't because you in there. care how say we are sometimes we just get afraid don't we? but I'm glad to know this that Jesus is my captain and I don't care what it is as long as he's around I'm in good hands and I wouldn't dare tell anybody that I got all this courage that I'm going to be all right. No, I get scared just like anybody else. But every now and then he lets me know that I am your captain. And I'm able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you ask. And all that that you think. Can I get a witness? I heard a songwriter say, I trust in God wherever I may be upon the land or the rolling sea. But then it said, for come what may from day to day, my heavenly father watches over me. Thank you, Jesus. For we've come this far by faith. Leaning on the Lord. Trusting in his 
God's way. Because he never failed me. And I can say, oh, oh, oh. I won't turn around. Can I get a witness? I can't stop now. I've come too far to turn around. Sometimes I feel like I'm all by myself. And I cry out to God, God, where are you? Thank you, Jesus. But I've learned to not turn around. Because my father told me, I'll never leave you. Neither will I forsake me. And when it seems like he's gone, he's still there. And I found out when I can walk myself, he'll carry me where I need to go. Can I get a witness? Yeah! My God is a righteous God. My God is a holy God. My God is still making ways out of no way. My God is still lifting me up when I fall down. God is my refuge, in my strength, a present help in trouble. There comes a time not being in trouble because of the times of trouble. But the Bible says, I'll help you when you are in trouble. Thank you, Jesus. And as long as I know Jesus is my captain, I'm going to hold out. I'm going to hold on. You have to stay there and wait on him. He's coming when he gets ready to come. But I found out he'll help you and that right early. Tell him thank you. Jesus will never leave you. Jesus will stand by you. Jesus will help you when all help seems to be gone. Lord! The disciples went to Jesus and said, Jesus, where are you? You down here sleep and we got a storm look like we're going down. Don't you care about us? Thank you, Jesus. But I'm here to tell somebody that Jesus cares. And as long as he's on board, you may not see him. You may not feel him. But he's always there. And the reason that I know it is because he's told me I'll never leave you. Neither will I forsake you. I'm going to be with you always. Even until the end of the age. And I just want to tell him thank you for being there when I thought he was gone. Thank you for helping me when I felt like you wasn't around. Thank you for lifting me up when I fell down. Thank you for supplying my needs when I couldn't see my way. Thank you for healing my body when I was sick. Thank you for lifting me up. Thank you, Jesus. He cares. Does anybody know he cares? Try him. He'll let you know he cares. Don't always come when you want him. But he's always on time. May not see him with the natural eye. But he's there. How do you 
you know preacher sometimes when they feel like they're by yourself nobody there he lets me know I'm still here you don't need me if you're doing it yourself but I step in when they go on your last mile when it seems like you don't have no hope I'll step in I'll be there when you're shedding your tears I'll be there when you're all alone I'll be there when friends forsake you because I'll never leave you I'll never forsake you. I'll be with you always. Even until the end of the age. Amen. Where is your faith? Where is your faith? Your faith is in him. Amen. The ruler of the heavens and the earth. Thank you, Jesus. When it seems like he don't care, he cares for you. Amen. Amen.